Hello guys, how are you today? Uh, this time I'm gonna show you some uh, tools as uh, some uh, armor I made. It's not completely done yet. They're using the same uh, like avatar right now uh, because there is a lot more in the model work here. But um, I will start by showing off the armor. Like the toughness and stuff hasn't been set yet. Also I want the armor to have some kind of effect when you are using it like uh, that you swim faster, you can breathe on the water and stuff and um, like made it like uh, it's supposed to be like a diving suit with chainmail because you're diving with uh, dangerous animals so I've tried to make it this way um, and it's just uh, yeah it's my first attempt of making an armor and it, it actually worked fine there's a little bit of layers I've also been working on and as you can see have it here. So um, what I'm gonna do in the future of course before I release it I will have to make some thumbnails for it and who knows maybe it's not even the only armor there will be. That might actually make so you put that one on your head uh, this shell there. If you want to be like a little more what would you call it um, wild man <laughs> on a desert island uh, deserted island for yourself. But um, this is the suit I made. It took quite a time, some time to do, uh, but I actually think it went pretty good. And yeah, for now that's. Uh, I just need to figure out how to come some, in, uh, put some effect uh, effects on it. Um, another thing I did, I uh, made a sword. Let's see it uh, in the front there. I actually made this. Uh, I just uh, used the template of Minecraft, but then I took my liberties to like design it like a, a viking sword with the itches going up and stuff um, so that's uh, this avatar or this uh, what we call it this icon here is correct and that's the model of the sword but I also made a pickaxe and a shovel and a hoe and I'm gonna work on fixing their attributes so they're correct as well and also they're gonna get models that looks I will probably keep the Viking theme about these uh, four tools here um, and that's some of the tools I will be making in the beginning here in the future I would also like to like have a harpoon or something you can fire underwater a little like a bow but without the effect of like it should just work on the water to hunt these animals with so that's uh, some of the things I've been making here. Oh, now it's night. Let's see. Time set. Time set day. Um, and well, though it doesn't look like they are very finished or anything, they are actually like all the back end behind it, or rather, the programming stuff is finished. So that's that's nice. Let's see there's a little uh, box here with transparency. I gotta fix that. Uh, what a bother. <laughs> well, that's good I show it so you can see all the mistakes you make when you're mudding. But well, I think this is quite fine. Uh, and if you have any ideas, fellas, uh, feel free to be open-minded about it. I cannot promise I can do everything for you, but if the idea is fine, I, I might consider it. And uh, I. I hope to soon release this mod, so I can maybe get uh, on with some new animals soon. But, um, I am pretty close at this time. It's more the details that needs to be fixed now than something new. The only big deal I have right now is the AI behavior for my uh, animals. Uh, rather, my task behavior that makes an illusion of our AI. Um, so that's the big deal right now I'm working on and when that's done it will be released uh, for 15 for uh, 1.3 I think that's the version um, so when I have done the task uh, task uh, behaviors for the different animals uh, I will be releasing the mod and also of course I need to fix these small things that need uh, icons and stuff so Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day.